Welcome back to another episode of Hobby Adventures. Today we are going to talk about the one product that I have barely seen on YouTube. It's called the Smale Switch Motor made by Circuitron. You guys have seen the, the Tortoise Switch Machines. Okay, this is like the sister or whatever. This is the Tortoise Switch Machine with the DCC decoder in it. So that's pretty much what it is. Uh, anyways, we're going to take a look at this. We're going to see on how to set it up. With the hardware, we are going to program it using the ECOS. And also, we're going to install it into the layout and see how it works. All right, so why don't you go get yourself a drink, make yourself a tea, a coffee, some water, whatever it is, and we'll see you right back after this commercial. Okay, so what I got for the Smail switch motor was uh, these terminal blocks. There's the part number, set of 12, plus one more makes 13 for all my Smail switch motors. So I'm gonna put these on instead of soldering wires to it. Uh, these are screw terminals, so it'll be a lot better. I just got it all 12 done, and I'm gonna end up putting it on the layout. So, yeah, I'll show you what I did. Touch the piano wires right there, and they're ready to go. So I have 12 here, plus uh, the one on my layout is 13. So, all right, let's go install them. All right, for the next step calls for a bus line. So here on the ECOS, the left slot is for program track, and the right one is for the program on the main. So just your regular bus line. So what I did was I just set up something temporarily so I can program these switch motors before I install them. So what we're gonna need is going to set it up on uh, the first one and number eight. So one and eight, so that's your power. All right guys, so what we are going to do today is program these Smale switch motors. Okay, so first thing what we're gonna wanna do is uh, over here with the lights and the switch and the stop sign click on that thing and over here these are from my previous sort of like test layout what we're going to want to do is create uh, an actual i guess button type of thing so one of these characters so down here on the bottom right we're going to click that wrench and then over here, you'll see the switch plus the sign with the plus motor. That's the add an accessory. So let's go there, add the accessory. Let's click the box that we want to go on. Uh, let's start here on the bottom. Pick a box. Now it's going to ask you protocol DCC, name it. Uh, right now, let's call it test. Oops. Let's call it uh, test. So we know what we're doing. Click OK. Um, Next one, let's do smell, smell, and then uh, uh, we'll just leave this like this. For the next one here, uh, we'll just leave that there. I'm going to change it to the address that, that it's actually on. Um, address one, which is the default in right out of the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it to see if it does work, and then we'll change the address. So uh, let's just put a random switch on. I don't care. All right, so that's good. Okay, it's there. Now what we want to do is uh, go back to the wrench and uh, we exit it out of setup mode. So now, theoretically, what we should be able to do is click it and it should be working, but I didn't turn it on yet. So let's take a look and see if it works. So uh, let's turn it on. We heard a little tickle. And we see the light flash. Okay, let's turn it around. Oops. Turn it around. Click it again. And it's working. All right, so let's go ahead and program this beauty to what we want to do. All right, so let's go back down to the wrench. Uh, we're going to leave it to the pencil because we're going to edit the accessory. Click on the accessory you want to edit to. And then down here, we're going to 
pick a channel so or address so whatever address you want um, usually because factory default is address one I'm gonna change it to let's say address four all right so we'll check mark um, then we're gonna exit uh, edit mode and uh, okay so as you can see it's not working right now because it's the wrong address but what we are going to do is here on the swale swale <laughs> snail switch motor uh, we're gonna press this button right here which is the program button press and hold it for three seconds two one and it should be flashing so now that it's flashing we're going to send a signal to the to the smell switch motor and we're just going to turn that switch all right um just for safe measures let's cycle through the power turn it off turn it back on uh, let's try it one more time you can hear it tickle you saw the light turn flash okay let's turn this baby around and uh, okay so again we're gonna trigger the the accessory and there you go all right now let's say you you're limited to how you install the the smell switch motor and now you need to reverse the the polarity or reverse the action so you need the left to be right and the right to be left so we are going to change the cvs on that one um so with the ecos what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the picture of the ecos with the red screen and the wrench click on that okay so then what we're going to do is once we're in here we we are going to go into setup number two uh, make sure that you are checked off with main track programming programming on the main and also as well make sure you checked off accessory decoder because that's what we're working on what we're gonna want to do now is enter so we're gonna type in 584 and a value of one this is going to reverse the polarity of the smell switch motor and um, before we hit right we have to go back to the smell switch motor hit the hit and hold the programming button for three seconds two one let go once it's flash it's in the programming mode uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit right it's gonna do its thing go halfway go back all right so it should be have done now uh, let's cycle the power turn it off turn it back on all right so now what has happened is left has become right and right has become left so you saw i had to do that twice because it's actually reversed so yeah now it works and that's it we can go ahead and install smell switch motor All right, so let's say we screwed up on a setting and we need to get the smell switch motor back to factory settings. Top corner over here uh, with the ECOS, with the red screen and the wrench. We're gonna click on that one. All right, we are in setup number two, program on, program on the main, accessory decoder, but down here at the CVs, the CV that we're gonna write is five, 546. Now in there, we're going to change the value to 85. All right, now before hitting the right button, we're going to go to the smell switch motor, press and hold the program button for three seconds, two, one. As that's flashing, we're going to hit the right button. All right, so once that is done, it is imperative that we cycle through the power or else this reset will not take effect. So let's go ahead, turn it off, turn it back on, wait three seconds, go back to our inventory of switches. Uh, remember that this switch, 
that we created, the test mail, uh, it was on address number four. So one colon four, right? It's not going to work. So what we're going to do is go back to the wrench, make sure we're in edit mode, select the accessory, then we're going to come down here to address, go back down to one, say OK, exit edit mode, and now we're going to try it. There you go. Now the smell switch motor has been successfully factory reset. It. All right, guys. So I thought I would uh, show you where I've gotten before I go to bed. So, all right. So this one's done. Uh, so I have one, two, three, and then four. Okay, let's go underneath and take a quick look. Oh, there goes my kneecaps. All right, so uh, yeah, there it goes. Frog's, um, so the frog is in there as well. The power bus. There's the second one. There's the third. There's the fourth. There's gonna be one, right? Where is it? Right there, really close to the board. It's gonna be interesting to do. So I'm gonna have to get a longer drill bit to drill it in. So it's only two switches. It's going. It's late, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. I'll continue this in the morning. All right, so for the most part, everything's in. Uh, I have all these switches in here over here. Uh, including these ones, or that one right there. Uh, and this one I didn't put in. Uh, I'll show you guys in a second why. All right, so this is how it's looking under here. Uh, we got four there, four there, and then, uh, like I said, I showed you guys. Um, like I was telling you guys about the ones right up against the board. Holy mac. Ooh, focus. Yeah, so that one's in, and uh, same with this one, and they work. Uh, yeah, so that one that I showed you that I did not install, the pin's right in here, and uh, I got that board. I got to figure something out, see um, how am I going to do this. All right, so I'm going to do a quick overall so you guys can see. I'm going to just try to focus everything in. All right, there we go. This is that middle piece that I was working on. And uh, let's go over to the other one. And then this is the, the one board that's already there. Right over. All right, so we're almost finished with this area. Um, gonna do some testing. I'll probably do that with my uh, layout update. And then I'm gonna continue on with that side over. All right, guys. Until next time.